welcome back everybody to the Santa Barbara Polo Life. I'm Tara Gray and I am joined now by one of my very dear friends and an excellent guest here with us here today is Donna Reeves. She is the development director for the Turner Foundation and grant writer extraordinaire. So if you need a grant written, you know this one to call right here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being here, Donna. Oh, absolutely. Thank you for having oh, me. Oh my goodness. I mean, I'm so glad that we are kicking this show off and the season off with you as one of our interviews because the Turner Foundation, if you're not familiar with it is so unbelievably amazing and does such good work. Just fill us in on what the Turner Foundation is and what it does. Okay, well, the Turner Foundation, strangely enough, is celebrating their 60th anniversary, and we started down in um, we started down in Riverside, mm -hmm. and we built a senior living, uh, low income senior living. Uh, housing complex that incorporated having a bowling alley and you know the Turner Foundation basically is all about lifting people up uh -huh. and improving their lives yes. and helping them get from poverty to self-sufficiency so we take uh, C-grade apartment buildings and we repurpose them and renovate them and we turn them into 100% low-income housing communities and we take care of the children after school so we provide after-school education music lessons, dance lessons. Um, they're now writing their own music and filming their own music videos. So they can learn more than one instrument because we've got this great music program. And so we provide them with the enrichment programs in order to help them succeed and to be able to let the kids you know, decide what it is that they want to do and give them some hope for, right. for being able to be successful. You've kind of made the world their oyster by doing this, right? Yes, and speaking love, of oyster. Oh, hey, <laughs> great transition. That's true. Oh, my goodness. I didn't even, didn't even put two and two together. She's good. I think she needs to be hosting the okay. show, right? <laughs> I, have to talk, I have to tell you a little bit about Miss Kara. Oh, yes, I've worked with the Turner Foundation, so I can tell you it is amazing. Yes. Well, Tara, bless your heart. She she <laughs> just took she we um we had she had uh, sh shown an interest in coming and helping out with one of the after school mm -hmm. programs, and so it just happened to be around Mother's Day, and so she had this incredible idea to provide the to provide oysters that had pearls in them and the little clasps and necklaces so that the kids can make Mother's Day presents. And she gave them the whole history lesson on where pearls come from. And yes. bless her heart, shucked all the oysters. Oh, my goodness. I haven't shucked an oyster in a very long time. At one point, I'm going, one kid goes, I think you're bleeding. I'm like, oh, it's okay. I might just need a Band-Aid or two. Because those oysters are, are, are sharp. But, oh, my goodness. It was so... I loved coming down there and meeting those kids. You can just tell that what the Turner Foundation is doing is really providing them with a stable environment, coming out of school every day, and really opening their eyes up to so many different things. Yes, and it's 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 a great program because we're the only nonprofit organization that provides both low-income housing as well as education programs for the kids. There is no usually nonprofits will do one or the other, but we have found this great you know mesh and it just it works it just works and so the parents can some of them have two and three jobs and, right. and that's the prime time when kids would go out and get into trouble so by educating them and giving them all of these different activities to do um, we're actually keeping them off the streets and and the parents know that they're in a safe place to be and that's then that's the most important part and that's why if you haven't looked into the Turner Foundation I gotta tell you it, it, I, I had more fun, I think, than the kids. I was so glad I didn't bore them to tears <laughs> with the oyster story. Oh, no, they loved you. But making, <laughs> but making the jewelry, and I'm just going to tell you, it just, I had an amazing opportunity to, to meet them. I felt privileged and honored to meet them. So uh, the Turner Foundation, what is the website if people want to get involved? www.theturnerfoundation.com. We would love to, we need support. We would love to have support for, you know, sponsorships for... Uh, summer camps Summer up. camp. We have, we provide an eight-week summer camp for the kids. And we, they, they get to go to the Moxie. They get to, so we try to integrate learning experiences for them they get to take surf lessons. They, you know, go to the library. Um, they, you know, we, we have a community garden that they garden in, and then they make dinners for everybody in the in the complex. Uh, um, and we have two different um, communities, both on the west side, amazing, of Santa Barbara. So, yeah. So we, everything that you would ever need for summer camp, you guys need starting now. So TurnerFoundation.org. 
Turnerfoundation.com. Dot com. The Turnerfoundation.com. Or you can always call me at 805-730-1200. Perfect. And I tell you, it is one of the most fabulous organizations to ever get involved in. You are really, really, really uh, helping out uh, an entire community here in Santa Barbara. Thank you, Donna, for being here. Oh, thank you so much for having me. Oh, my gosh. It was so amazing. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.